Today's video is the second in a series entitled The Reseller 12-Step Program. If you have not already watched the first video, please do so before watching this video. There will be a link in the description of this video. My friend and colleague Randy Faisig developed this to help us become more successful and profitable resellers. Randy has been an entrepreneur for over 50 years and has been a reseller going back to the very early days. So let's get started. Step two of our resellers program, the right tool for the right job. You know, you heard the old saying, and it is definitely an old saying, a place for everything and everything in its place. Okay, you went through the first step, which was cleaning off your desk and getting a clear vision of the day ahead. Now we wanna to start to go on to step two. Okay, we always wanna be going forward and not backward. But if you didn't get your desk cleaned off, we'll clean it off now, or maybe at least after this video, okay? If you don't have the space for the stuff that you have, then maybe you have too much stuff, or maybe you have stuff that you don't need. There's one way to do this, that I found at least successful, you grab three boxes, okay? And those three boxes are gonna be the three Gs. It's gonna be good, give it away, or garbage. If it's good, you keep it, you sell it, and you make money. If you give it away, it's just a matter of cleaning away some of the clutter. And if it's garbage, then throw it away because you don't need it. It's not making you money. It's just something that's in your way. So the best thing to do is not only get rid of it, but get it out of your house. Don't look at it again. Don't think about it. Don't dwell on it. Just go get rid of the garbage. The next thing you want to do after you clean off your desk is start to clean and reorganize your shelves. Okay? And you do it by the same method. Okay? You grab the three boxes. You put, or just grab one box and you put everything in the box. And then you dump it out on the middle of the floor and separate it into those three G's again. You don't want to keep it. You only want to keep what's good and what is going to make you fruitful and be able to multiply your money. Be fruitful and multiply. Now, one thing you have to do, once you get all that done, is you want to start your work. Okay, you start your day in several ways. First, you get everything that you need together and you get a backup of it. It's really terrible when you run out of paper or you run out of ink and you don't have tape for the tape gun and you have to really cut out of your day and, and it's just not very fruitful at all. So that's the first thing you want to do. And then you open up your email, just like you open up the door of a retail store and you greet your customers. You find out who wants to return something, who wants to cancel their order, or who wants to give you money and maybe buy more stuff than he would have bought in the first place. There's a way to do business and there's a way to fail. Do you know that most people fail because they have too many sellable things that aren't sellable, okay? They're just hurdles to get over. They have to jump over this and jump over that. You have to move this stack to get to that stack and you can't find things. It's all clutter. And it really is a detriment to your mindset. You need a clear mindset. 
So what, what puts you in the mood to get things done? You're gonna fill your printer with paper and labels. You're gonna print your shippers. You're gonna pick and pack your orders. And then finally, you have time to sit back, relax, and ponder the direction that you're going to go in, whether the direction is the right direction and you want to go further, or whether it's the wrong direction. Maybe you want to try something new. Okay. But now that you've cleaned up some of the clutter, you at least have a clear vision. So sit back, reward yourself. You can turn your cell phone back on now. You can put on some nonverbal background music. A small stack, maybe, is in order. Let's say relax for about 15 minutes. Then we'll get back to the boxes. And let's take a break for now and relax.